dear students welcome to this course on basic macroeconomics this course which you are supposed to complete in 15 weeks has been developed in a very systematic and logical manner macroeconomics deals with the performance of the economy as a whole in macroeconomics various economic phenomena such as inflation price levels rate of growth national income gross domestic product and changes in unemployment are thoroughly studied as opposed to the microeconomics which focuses on decisions spending and performance of individuals and single businesses macroeconomics examines the aggregate expenditure and consumption of a nation or region as a whole while providing useful information to investors about the overall economic environment it focuses on government spending inflation employment rates and consumption levels all of which affect the health of different sectors in an economy government and policy makers make use of macroeconomic policies such as monetary and fiscal policies to accelerate growth and maintain the price stability at the same time in the first week we shall focus on the issues related to macroeconomics and their analysis by various schools of thought we will also discuss the circular flow of income and expenditure the circular flow of income can be analyzed with the help of three different models such as the circular flow of income in a two sector model circular flow of income in a three sector model and the circular flow of income in a four sector model in the second week the focal point of discussion will be the concepts related to national income and its measurement in this week we shall also discuss how the real variables are distinct from the nominal variables and the price indices in the third week the theories of classical economists will be discussed there will be discussion on the views of the classical economists on the labor market on the goods market and the money market dear students keep in mind that the first 3 weeks will form the basis for understanding not only the topics in the later part of this course but also many other theories of macroeconomics after this in the fourth week we shall focus on the keynesian approach in macroeconomics discuss the income and output determination the concepts of multiplier the investment and the rate of interest under keynesian approach the keynesian approach explains that unemployment can persist because wages and prices are sticky and they do not adjust quickly enough to achieve equilibrium in the markets the isln theory shall form the basis of discussion in the fifth week we will learn about the equilibrium in the goods market the assets market and the money market goods market equilibrium is established where the planned spending is equal to income the asset market is said to be in equilibrium when the demand for assets is equal to the supply of assets and the money market equilibrium is established where the demand for money is equal to the given supply of money fiscal policy in the framework of islm model and factors affecting the effectiveness of fiscal policy shall be discussed in the 6th week we will also discuss the monetary policy and factors affecting the effectiveness of the monetary policy in the next week that is the 7th week will make you knowledgeable about aggregate demand and aggregate supply curve analysis you will also know about the factors affecting slope and position of the aggregate demand and the aggregate supply curves we will close this week by discussing the neutrality of money eighth week will be a revision and assessment week for you in this week you are supposed to revise what all of you have learned in this course and submit the assignments in time please note that the marks obtained by you in these assignments shall count towards your grades in this course role of expectations in economics 
is similar to the role of expectations in any other subject in the world. Expectations reflect people's beliefs of how certain variables will react in the future. Ninth week will focus on the concept of expectations and understand why expectations are important in macroeconomics. We will also understand the concept of adaptive expectations hypothesis and the rational expectations hypothesis. The next detailed study will be on the Lucas supply curve. In the 10th week, the aggregate demand and aggregate supply interaction and simultaneous equilibrium in the goods market, the capital market and the labor market will be discussed. The 11th week shall deal with the inflation and its historical background, hyperinflation, its causes and effects, social and economic costs of inflation and lastly the distinction between anticipated and unanticipated inflation. The 12th week shall be devoted to the detailed study of the rate of interest and expectations. The 13th week will focus on dynamics in aggregate demand and aggregate supply model. The convergence to the long run study state and the formulation of policy and expectations. The next week that is the 14th week shall be devoted to monetary shocks and fiscal shocks dealing with the long run equilibrium and adjustment path. The 15th week shall be a self study week 2 for you. In this week you are supposed to revise what all you have learned in this course. Students, I am quite confident that this course will equip you with the knowledge about the classical theory and the Keynesian theory in macroeconomics along with the aggregate demand and aggregate supply analysis along with other details. After the completion of this course, there shall be a proctored examination about which you shall be notified at appropriate time. Students, I am sure you will find this course very interesting and enjoyable. Please go through the entire e-content which includes both self-learning videos and e-text and perform the various activities and assignments of this course sincerely. I am quite confident that going through this course shall be a great self-learning experience for you. I wish you all the best.